welcome back to another FIFA 21 player rewind here on the channel and live on stream of course we got the beautiful transitions we have the beautiful chat who hopefully are gonna be behaving themselves today i don't i don't see anything in there that i'm gonna need to like cut out later in the video if you guys are interested in getting involved watching uh the live streams make sure to click the link in the description we are on facebook so check us out over there the man has announced that he is moving into real life it is harry kane so we are going to be rewinding his career all the way back to fifa 12 when he was at millwall now i am recording this one a little bit in advance so there is a chance that maybe he has announced where he's going already if so i'm sorry this video was recorded ahead of time or behind time like i said so no idea any information as to where he might go all i know at this point is that harry kane said he wants to leave spurs and he wants to move to another club in england so here is what we have gone on and done moving him back to millwall where he played on loan while he was at spurs Fortunately, we can't just like specifically loan him out to Millwall. So I basically have just put him on Millwall. So that is going to be his starting first club. 66 overall in 79 potential is what he had at the age of 17 years old while he was sort of just starting out. So no superstar stats at all, at all but it is going to be our job to try to make him and turn him into a superstar. If you guys going to enjoy, leave a big old thumbs up on this video. This, when am I uploading this? This is going to be one of the final videos in this old setup as well that you guys will see over on YouTube as I am going to be moving. So say goodbye to this beautiful background. It's going to be gone very, very soon. So Millwall, the starting team. Let's go ahead and check out the case for this team in terms of their strikers. And it's not good. They have like every striker that they have is higher rated than us. So... We may not be playing this year. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to put Kane up front, 66 overall. We have Bradshaw at 69. We have, however you say that name, at 68 overall. Smith and Zohor, also 69. The only thing that we probably have over these players is our potential. So maybe Millwall will play us because of that. And before we can sim season one, let's get this development plan sorted. What are we saying? What? Oh, Poacher. Poacher, 100%, right? I mean, he only has a high attacking work rate. We don't really need to get that upgraded. But I want to get all of his attacking stats upgraded. So, poacher it is for year one. Here it is. Year one championship football Millwall. I don't even care about trophies this year. I, I literally just want to like... I want Harry Kane to play. So, let's see if that even happens. And here we go. Into it. The simulation for year one is over. Millwall, can we, can we switch out of this screen? Yes, we can. Okay no trophies I, well you know i wouldn't be mad with the trophy i just don't think it's physically possible yep we we're closer to the relegation than we were to winning a trophy fa cup liverpool did we did we even make it very far eh, you know what i i really don't even care to look kirby cup no and that that's it yeah not a single trophy that's pretty much what i was expecting though the moment of truth have we done it we haven't we didn't play we didn't get upgraded, but uh, we just, yeah, we just didn't play. Sheesh, that is not, you know what, I shouldn't even be zhizhing that. We did, did we, we played four games, bro. Are you kidding, Millwall? The disrespect, man. Last week's rewind we did with Allison. we played him at striker. That rewind was terrible. Yo, we can't afford to have back-to-back -back rewinds in a row. They just end up being awful. All right, let's get into it. This is season number two. What kind of club will be wanting Harry Kane at this point? It's such a shame they didn't play him, man. Like he's got, uh, he's got decent potential as well. Like, why would, why would you not play him? It just doesn't make sense. I'm not sure which kind of club would want Harry Kane. Is it gonna be another championship team? I'd like to move him out of England. He has played in England basically his entire career. I would like for that to change at some point in this. And I think we'll see what... I feel like we're going to get bigger clubs to offer us because our potential has gone up. And I don't want to go to... A, I, we're, whatever club we go to, we need to make sure that we will play there. So here's the first offer. Hmm. Okay. Right. Before I go to any club, I, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to check their roster to see if we're one of the highest rated strikers. I just have to. Okay. I, I think this, this might have to be it. Yeah. 
they do not have a single striker over 69 overall we have found the perfect club in legit the first offer you know it would be funny in this video if we go the entire episode and harry kane still can't win a trophy then we'd we'd maybe have to come to the realization that it's not spurs who can't win the trophies it's kane being there we will be accepting this though harry kane at this point right now is going to be off to the danish league right how how am i meant to say this midgetland Mi midgetland um midget midgets land midgetland 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 dude i've heard a million different pronunciations from my chat i'm you know what i'm just gonna uh just tried to not pronounce this team's name as much as I can. <laughs> Harry Kane, he's finally done with England. We'll definitely probably be moving him back to England at some point in this career. But let's make sure I was right that he is the highest rated striker on this team. And he is. Let's go. Okay, right. Mobile striker this year is what I want him to be at. So we have that sorted. And we may as well sort this starting 11 while we are at it. Harry Kane gets in. If for some reason he doesn't play this year, if this team doesn't play him, I don't even know. I think it, we're just going to be cursed in this series. It's been ages, man, since we've, like, done well. Here we go. The Danish Super League. This is going to be an interesting one. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, this is the first time we have ever moved to this league in a player rewind. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I think, I think I'm correct in saying that. Here it is, boys. The end of the season. Oh, we were in Europa League as well. I saw whilst simulating. So this could be a chance for Kane at a trophy. Could he break the curse for the league? We've won it, boys. There it is. Trophy won, Harry Kane. You finally have a trophy. Oh, my goodness. Spurs, it's on you now to win something. Oh, and this was the playoffs two dude okay a lot of these european leagues have like these weird playoff systems that i'm super unfamiliar with but we won the championship round so we we won the league right and we won the league cup too two trophies oh my god this was the perfect club to go to playoffs we don't what is this super league the playoff final oh wait did we win the league wait hold up why weren't we in the playoff final hello the playoff final hello i'm confused man um yeah so we did lose there um you know what i'm i'm counting the, my chat saying we won okay we're counting that as two trophies i'm just a bit confused it's not gonna be three though i we just checked the calendar and we did definitely didn't win the europa league did we make it far though did we at least make a run oh maybe not nah nah we didn't even make it out of the group rip i'll fight with that bros we got two trophies and we played as well 75 overall for harry kane what a what luck to get an offer from this team and what a season 21 goals as well three assists harry kane let's get it man it is now time to get you back dominating on the big european teams actually you know what no maybe one more season at like a smaller club let's run it season three we got to figure out where we want harry kane to move to 75 overall i don't think he's ready to go to like a big club just yet maybe one more season all right the danish league i'm not gonna lie was fun to go to i love going places that we've never been before but as always it is gonna be time to go adding him to the transfer list well actually it's gonna be interesting to see what clubs offer for us um yeah we'll take a look and we still could use our trade this year as well let's check it out have we gotten any offers the chat is giving me some suggestions people saying the portuguese league and we have the French League. Interesting. Saint Etienne. Hmm. I'd actually be convinced to go to this one. I don't know, though. I I, I want to go to another, like, random league. I like this. I liked the Danish League. Let's browse some other countries and see where we could go. Yo, the Turkish League. I'm thinking maybe the Turkish League. I'm thinking maybe Switzerland. Maybe somewhere else. What if we traded him? to like Fenerbahce or Galatasaray. Fenerbahce, what if we did this? Traded him, I wonder if they'd accept this right here. For their 78 rated striker, we give them Harry Kane. Let's test it out. I feel like Fenerbahce would be a really, really cool team to go to. So let's try this offer. Player swap strikers. Harry Kane's only valued at 6.5 million. Really? That's an interesting one. 
Oh, man, they say they stormed out, really? Let's go for Galatasaray instead. If Fenerbahce don't want him, why not go to one of their rival clubs in Galatasaray? Let's see it. Here we go. Straight up, Harry Kane for whoever the hell this is. Submit the transfer offer. And eh, they don't want him. Why would you not want Harry Kane? Oh my God, why does this always happen when I want to transfer him to a club? What about this? Come on, Galatasaray, I really want to go here. Come on, Harry Kane. Please accept it. I swear to God. I swear to God. I'm done with I'm done with Turkey. I'm just I'm done with the Turkish League. We're not going there. All right, this is coming just randomly. Someone in my chat said Muchin Gladbach would be a sick club. And I actually think it would. And he will start here. If they don't accept this, I'm gonna be so mad. Please. I swear. This game, bro. This game makes me so mad. Oh my god. All right, we did it. I found a way to do it. Harry Kane has been accepted to Muchen Gladbach. We offer for another player. I this one just came really randomly, but someone in my chat put Muchen Gladbach, and actually I thought it would be the perfect club, and turns out I think it will be. There it is, man. My chat is telling me we can't win trophies. I'm gonna be proving them wrong, man. I think this is the perfect club. I think we're gonna have a decent team, and I really hope it is the perfect club, because like the, the stress that I went through to get us here, like, we need to do well. So, boys, here's the team in follow at striker. A lot of 80 rated players. I'm very confident that this team is going to do really, really well. So, we're just going to start by... Let's do complete striker. Get him up to five star, five star. And change the position. Do they not have a right midfielder? Is 68 rated? No, they have Salvio. They have Ladero. Oh, my God. Yo, I actually think... We may not be able to win the Bundesliga, but we'll have a chance at something this year. All right, so we need to find a good position with two strike, good formation with two strikers. What do I want to go with here? I think the 4-2 four, four, flat just makes sense, although it pulls Zakaria out of position. I honestly, dude, should we play him at center back? That might be our best bet. I guess in the end, it is really, um, it's really gonna be up to the CPU to decide where they want to play him. But here is what I am planning on keeping the team like. I hope the CPU plays the team like this, because if they do, I think we'll be able to win a lot with this squad. Here we go. Let's do it, man. I don't know if we're in the Champions League or what. I would assume we're probably in, we're probably in some European competition, right? Like I would just. I would guess. All right, man. We see some dubs, some L's in the chat. That's what people are predicting. Let's find out for ourselves, man. Muchen Gladbach. I believe we were in the Champions League, so we have that to look forward to. Here is where we finished. Come on, man. Sixth place. That, my friends, is what you would call... <sighs> That's an L. Eight, 31 points off of the top. That's an L. League Cup... L again. In the Champions League, we did make it out of the group. And we lost to City in the round of 16. Ah, oh, I mean, we were never going to win the Champions League. But that's that's still an L. Listen, boys, I thought this would be a fun club to go to. Munchen Gladbach, right? And... Oh, no. Oh, no. We didn't play. Oh, no. Wow. Wait, why would we not play? Hold up. Two freaking goals. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Why? Who, who did they play at striker? Nah, did they play Thurman? I think they played Thurman at striker. Oh no, why? Why would you do that game? Why can't, why can't when I simulate games, I set the starting 11? I wanna set the starting 11, not the CPU. Let me sim the games with my starting 11 in the calendar, man. He literally scored two goals all year. Literally the biggest L we could have freaking taken with harry kane oh my god okay season four that set us so far back because the plan was for him to hopefully go up to 80 or 81 overall so that in season four we could have a season where we go up to like 85 and then for the final season we're 85 overall we could play for a massive club and now i don't think any massive club that we go to at any point in the series will like want to play us at all oh that's legit so annoying man and i think from here on out we're not going to trade him we're just going to have to let the offer speak for themselves and hope we get an offer at a club that will actually play him look at that i mean you can see it right right here player performance down team performance down play time it's play time he wasn't even mad about his play time hoffenheim is offer number one no, 
We couldn't succeed at Mucin Gladbach, so we're, we're not going back to any clubs in Germany. Someone in the chat said, make him a winger. No, Harry Kane on the wing? Do you know anything about football? Holy crap, we have like a million offers here. Okay, we have Everton as offer one. Offer two, Monaco. Offer three, Roma. Which one of these should we take? These are all really good offers, I think. Here's what the boys are saying in the chat. Okay, Monaco. Oh, I see a lot of Monacos. I see a lot of Monacos. I rarely go to Monaco, says someone. You know what? I think you've convinced me. I think you have convinced me that Monaco is the club. 25 million. Boom. That offer is accepted. Kane, please just accept it on your own, man. The chat gets what the chat wants. Monaco. Let's do it. Didn't even get to see, like, really at all who was on the team already. Oh, what do they got? Oh, God, they have Malin. Okay, so we're already not the highest rated striker. And they have Holler and 270. Why did they want to sign us? We are the lowest rated striker on this team. Oh, my God, no. Why? Why would a team sign us who has four strikers higher rated than us? This game, day in, day out, continues to make zero sense for me. L's in the chat. L's in the freaking chat. Okay, um, right. What do we do? I mean, at the very least, we have to change to a formation that is going to have multiple strikers. Let's do the 3 4 1 2 so that maybe, just maybe, that they will decide to play us up there. But I doubt it. I really doubt it. I hate it too because this team is really good. Like, we'll probably have a chance to do something this year. Oh my god, it's just FIFA, man. We have to hope we grow early and replace one of the top strikers. So let's get it. Development plan, Harry Kane. What have we not done yet? Target man? Let's do that, I guess. Let's get into the simulation, boys. This is gonna be an interesting one. Man, we could just end our career just like not playing or scoring or doing anything, man. The end of season four, we're so close to being done with this. And, yo. We're in a cup final. Hey. So we will have a chance at a trophy this year. And let's see. Just right here if we're going to win it. Lille. Yes. We got one trophy at least with Monaco. Will it be two? Could you imagine the scenes? Oh, my God. Seven points short of Lyon. I'm happy, man. One trophy is more than enough than I expected with Monaco. That is going to be our, I believe, third on the season. That's the one we won right there. And I think we were in the Europa League. We, okay, we're not in the Champions League. That was won by Atletico Madrid. And we were in this. Who did we lose to? We didn't win it. We lost to Dynamo Kiev, bro. I almost honestly feel like when we're in the Europa League, this competition is harder to win than the Champions League. Did we play, though, is the question. Or did one of the four other strikers play over us? Plus five. I think we actually played. Yo, let's see. Goals, boom. Wow. Okay, not the greatest season, but we did play 16 goals, one assist, and up to an 83 overall. 83. I wonder what, like, the biggest club we could go to would be. Hmm. What club, like, what big club would need an 83 rated striker to start for them final season is here oh my god okay i want to move him to the prem and my chat is giving me suggestions here dudes imagine how cool it would be if we moved him back to spurs in a one spurs a trophy in our final season i think that would genuinely be the perfect ending all right here it is we're 83 rated what which club will want us? I am not trading him anywhere. We are strictly relying on the offers for this season. Harry Kane, boom, added to the transfer list. Let's see who we get offered for. No offers to start. Great. This has been such a weird one, too, since we started him so low. Usually, in these rewinds, the players start in the 70 overall ratings. At least, the recent ones that we've done. Starting him so low has meant that it's been so much more difficult to grow him. Liverpool and chelsea i feel like we have to accept one of these so the dreams of moving him back to spurs are dead um right hold on with those yeah okay here we go which one do we choose chat oh my god people are saying chelsea chelsea over liverpool do you guys think oh it, it looks like everyone is saying chelsea okay a few liverpools being scattered in dudes i think we're gonna do it okay i mean 
Duh, I would probably, no. Where would he be more likely to play at? I have to do Chelsea. Everyone is saying Chelsea. I'm doing it. There it is. It's been accepted. Here it is. It's gone through. Chelsea, a bit disrespectful, moved him to another London-based team. But to be honest, it, it could happen in real life too. You never know. I have a feeling though that we would have been more likely to play on Liverpool. But let's see the strikers that are on Chelsea. Timo Werner is still there. He's 87. They have Lewandowski here as well at 83. Kai Havertz. Who else? Come on. Please say that we're it. Klosterman. Okay. I mean, we're the same rating as Lewa, but we have higher potential. So I'm guessing that we'll probably play over Lewandowski. We're going to make sure that this team does not play five at the back as well. And we have to make sure they play two strikers. It, it just has to happen. I'm going to go with formation that we've not used. The 4 one 2 one 2 wide so that we can play Conte and Havertz. And Kane. Thurman is probably going to start for Pulisic. Chilwell can stay at left back. This team looks really, really good. Dries James in. Am I missing? Oh, Werner's. i just now seeing that he's hurt. I just completely disregarded that. Emerson is in here as well. Whatever. This team has a ton of good players. Actually, now that I'm looking at this, I'm really happy that we moved him here. Thurman back on the team as well with us. Okay. Let's train this development plan for the final season. Let's go back to... I think Poacher's probably the best way to end it. it. Just looks so weird in that Chelsea kit. All right, let's do it, boys. Into the final season we go. Imagine Spurs beats, wins like over us in the league. That's the one thing we can't have happen. We need to beat out Spurs. Let's see if we can do it. Here we go. Final season. Oh my God. My chat is driving me crazy right now. Let's just get, let's just get this episode over with. Come on, boys. Let's not get beat by Spurs. Come on. Let's win the league. We're up to... We need to get the five trophies in our career. Arsenal, Wolves, West Ham, Bright, Spurt. We've beaten Spurs. No! Why did I just switch to Europa League? Okay, well, we didn't win Europa League. We came in fifth? Ugh. Fifth place? How did we do that bad? That must have mean we won the FA Cup, right? Yes, we actually did. Oh, my God. FA Cup, Carabao Cup? No, didn't win the Carabao Cup, but we got one trophy at least. What about the Champions League winning the group round of 16? Okay. Uh, that's unfortunate there. At least we end with the FA Cup and we end with Harry Kane at an 87 overall tied with Timo Werner and scoring himself a total of 19 goals. Not too shabby. Okay, here are your final results. We ended up getting 87 overall, 59 total goals, six career, only six career assists and four trophies. We almost had as many trophies as we did assist, but overall, since we started at such a low rating, this one was way more difficult to begin with, and I'm actually very happy with where we ended up. I think we would have achieved the 90 overall rating if we would have uh, played more during that Mooch and Gladbach season. That is gonna do it for this video though. Thank you everyone who watched on the stream and everyone who is currently watching on YouTube as well. What a year, man. This team was so sick with Chelsea. Appreciate you guys watching. And with that, we will catch you guys later. Peace.